Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you an identification video on yellow sweet clover, or Melolotus officinalis. Yellow sweet clover is the plant that we're looking at right here. It's not technically a clover species, but it does have the name yellow sweet clover because its leaves are in a clover-like arrangement. This is a very common plant that's found growing along trails and roadsides, and it could even be found in some drainage areas where the ground has been heavily cleared. Sometimes you can find it growing in thick prairie-like environments as well. So it has a few different locations that it likes to grow. But it generally prefers kind of dry soil, but not too dry. The soil has to have some moisture, but not too much. You're not going to find this plant in the middle of a forest, or you're not going to find it either in a marshy-like area where you might find cattails. There can be a little bit of overlapping in some of these areas. Like for example, the area I'm in now is a little bit of a ditch and there is some jewelweed growing here as well. And jewelweed does like moist environments. This plant is very easily noticeable by its very brightly colored yellow flowers that it has growing up on these spikes along the top of the stem. If we look very closely at the flowers of yellow sweet clover, we're going to notice that there are many flowers on each spike and each plant can produce multiple spikes of these yellow flowers. The flowers of yellow sweet clover will usually have a upper lip that is much larger than the bottom petals underneath it. There are about five petals on each flower and there can be multiples of flowers, upwards of multiple dozens, several dozens of flowers on just one spike. And on this plant we see about three or four spikes and we see some little more buds starting at the top right up here. Yellow sweet clover likes to bloom anywhere from April all the way through October. And that will heavily depend on the area that you're in, but it does have a very large flowering season. And it's somewhat easy to notice amongst all the other green foliage because of these yellow flowers. This plant can grow anywhere from two to six feet tall. I have seen some a little over six feet, but that generally seems to be whenever there is a lot of competition around them and they are trying to reach towards the sun. But on average, you're going to find this plant probably at around three to four feet tall. The one we're looking at right now is a little over three feet, I'm assuming, because whenever I stand up, it's right around my waistline. And I'm almost, I'm about six feet tall. So this plant right here is about three feet in height. Now let's take a look at the features of the leaves of yellow sweet clover. The leaves of yellow sweet clover are very different from your normal clovers you're going to find in your yard. As we can see here, they are very long and elongated in shape. At the top of the plant, they can be almost linear, like we can see on these right here. They are arranged in clusters of three, but you'll notice that there is a little bit of a leaf stem right here from the very front leaflet. The back two leaflets are usually very close together, like we can see here. And as we go further down the plant, the leaves will also get larger, but a little bit more rounded. And now we might also see some anomalies like these right here, where it's a little bit more rounded at the base and not as linear and as pointy at the tip as these are. Okay, now here we are at the base of the plant and we can notice these leaves are actually much larger than what we see at the top. Now we can also see some of these very, very tiny leaves right here back by my index finger. And as we go down the plant, we're going to notice more of these spikes of yellow flowers. There will be yellow flowers all the way around the entire plant, basically coming out of each node. So make sure you keep that in mind. Also, if we look at the margins of the leaves, we're going to notice that they have fine teeth or fine serrations all along the margins of them. The underside of the leaves are noticeably whiter than the top side of the leaves, kind of this gray sort of appearance. This in itself is in its own identification feature, but it is something to keep in mind, as a lot of plants actually have lighter undersides than their tops. Yellow sweet clover has an alternating leaf pattern, just like we can see right here. We see a leaf, then a leaf, and then another leaf. And the leaves will alternate all the way up and down the stems of this plant. Not only is the leafing pattern alternating on yellow sweet clover, but the branching pattern is also alternating, like we can see that branch coming out there, and we see another branch coming up at the top. The stem of yellow sweet clover is basically just green and round and rather plain. However, it is really stiff, 
whenever you feel it in your fingers, it feels rather hard, but it does bend very easily. Yellow sweet clover does have some use for food and medicine. This plant actually contains coumarin, which is notably responsible for preventing blood clots. It doesn't work necessarily as a blood thinner to my knowledge, but it does help the blood to flow. So whenever you're taking this plant for medicine, make sure you keep that in mind. The chemical coumarin is also partly responsible for this plant's fra fragrance. Whenever you take the flowers or the leaves or the stem and crush them and rub them in between your finger, you're going to notice this very fragrant and potent smell of a little bit of cinnamon mixed with a lot of typical green plant flavor that you might expect from any normal plant. You can simply take the flowers and the leaves of this plant and you can brew them into a nice tea just for a refreshing drink, or you can use that tea as medicine as well. So there are some uses to this plant. Now there's another plant that's related to this, Melilotus alba, that is white, sleep, white sweet clover. Now white sweet clover can also be used as a vanilla-like flavoring because of the amount of coumarins in it and other chemicals that are responsible for this vanilla-like scent. However, our yellow sweet clover that we're looking at does not have that use. So make sure you keep that in mind if you see a plant that looks like this but has white flowers instead of yellow, it's probably going to be a white sweet clover and not a yellow sweet clover. So I hope this video has helped you guys to identify yellow sweet clover or Melilotus officinalis. This is a very nice looking plant. It is a biennial, so it only lasts two years. But I hope this video has helped some of you guys out, and I thank all of you guys for watching. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.